Marcus, you own NVIDIA. Uh, Pat Gelsinger's uh, honeymoon at, at Intel may be over uh, because Jensen Wong and uh, NVIDIA coming after them. What do you think about this move? And NVIDIA is a disruptor. Uh, they are uh, making the GeForce chip and also they have the green data centers. Yep. We like it because also the operating cash flow yield is around 4%, but the, um, the return on assets is right around 17% with great EPS stability. And so this company is doing all the things right. It's being a disruptor in this industry, and we really like it, and it's one of our best performing stocks. All right, so Pete Najarian uh, is with us now. Uh, Pete, you're on the phone, right? Yes, sir. Yep. So just give me your... Your, your quick reaction to, to the, the news in, in and of itself. Everybody's been really optimistic about Pat Gelsinger, right? The, the new CEO at Intel, who incidentally was just on Tech Check uh, at the top of the last hour. Uh, mm -hmm. What does this do now if, if NVIDIA is going to come after this part of Intel's business? Well, I'm not, I'm not necessarily completely shocked. It makes some sense that they would want to get more uh, competitive in other areas than they already are presently in. And as was just mentioned, they're a disruptor. So there's no, they're, they're, I don't know that I view this as something other than at some point in time, they were going to do this and go in this direction. But let's not forget that if you take a look at Intel and you look at where that stock has gone just in the last, you know, even year to date from 50 to 65, trading in the 66 area now, it's, uh, it's had a great run. And, and, um, and I think that they are up for the challenge and will be very, very competitive going forward. And it's, they will be fa facing other competitors as well, and obviously with with NVIDIA coming after them, um, like I say, I don't know that that's shocking, and it was just a matter of when, not, uh, not if. It just underscores, though, doesn't it, Pete, how much pressure uh, mm -hmm. Intel and Gelsinger are under to, to turn around the, the business and become quote-unquote relevant uh, again, that it's not going to be the easiest task out there, right? No. Yes, you're you're 100 percent right. I think you're spot on. I think that the, the pressure is on and uh, I think Gelsinger will will be able to respond very rapidly and, and, and meet a lot of what's going on in terms of the competitive side of things. But that is what CEOs are paid to do. That's what you know, that's why they brought in Pat. He's the, he's the guy who I think fits. And if you were going to have somebody at Intel that was going to have to battle uh, folks from all different directions, where, whether it's the AMDs of the world or, or obviously NVIDIA and others, I think he is the right guy for the challenge. So we already know what, what he's already said that he was going to be doing and already working on doing as, as a company itself to, to grow much faster and get after things and be somebody who's um, going to be a part of some of the other companies in terms of some of the, uh, the, 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 the building out. So there's a lot of different things working here that I think will work in their favor. And the competition, I think, will be greeted, and I think Intel is up for it. All right, so you, you, you have no sort of second thoughts about, about being no. a, a shareholder and a supportive one. Uh, you know, we've thrown right. a lot of stuff at you of, of late about Intel, and you don't seem to waver mm -hmm. at all. No, and, and as a matter of fact, when you look, you know, one of the things that, that stands out for me is, like, just what we're seeing today from uh, the Nuance acquisition from uh, Microsoft. I think what, what you're seeing is, those that have balance sheets, those that uh, trade at what I think are very fair value, and when you look at the fundamental side of things, when you look at total cash and debt and, and the cash flows and so forth, just take a long look uh, at that balance sheet that you're looking at when you take a look at Intel, and you can see why I think that they've got financially, they are in position to be able to be very, very competitive with absolutely anybody and everybody. And uh, with the right people in charge, I think that they're up for the challenge. Yeah.